Hi, uh, my name is Justin Witte. I am the curator of the Cleve Carney Museum of Art. And today I want to share with you a recent conversation I had with the video artist Kirsten Lienars. For those uh, of our audience who don't know anything about you, would you mind kind of explaining uh, who you are and the kind of work that you do? I am Kirsten Leinars. I am a Chicago-based artist, originally from the Netherlands, um, moved here in 2005. I mainly work in video, sometimes performances, sometimes also a little bit of drawing, but mostly video work. And I make that video work with uh, specific groups of people from specific communities, neighborhoods, or with uh, institutions. This can range from thinking about what does happiness mean or what does immigration look like or what is the meaning of the American dream today through kind of a collective creative process uh, using people's own lived experiences we kind of reimagine new scenarios of how we could look at these different issues or at our society at large. Recently you've been doing um, the projects of rehousing the American dream. Yeah uh, so that's with all students from Milwaukee and it was originally commissioned by the Agri Museum of Art, which is part of Marquette University, um, to create a video work with the community. The, um, so it was pretty open-ended. Um, and then I had kind of an interest in exploring this idea of the American dream that when we started, it was the summer of, uh, well, we started research in 2015, but the production happened in the summer of 2016, which was the summer before the elections at that time. Um, so that became kind of the impetus to really thinking about what does the American dream mean in this context? And um, more and more it shifted also to thinking about um, America and immigration and that history uh, of home in the sense of belonging or who gets to have this American dream. You connected with this group of kids. Uh, what were the backgrounds of some of these kids? So um, two, it's a, they were from two schools. One was uh, a local, um, originally parent-driven Montessori school um, in a neighborhood, very diverse uh, from all parts of Milwaukee, uh, came there. Um, and the other group was a, from a public school with a special program for newcomers, so that group um, existed pretty much all of um, uh, refugees that had come to the United States and had been uh, placed in Milwaukee and at the time that I started working uh, with them they all had just barely been a year in the United States at that time. Okay. You have these kids from diverse backgrounds mostly new to the country you know the simple prompt of we're just thinking about this idea of the American dream has developed and you're working with them. They're learning about video and contemporary art, but also maybe even to discuss some of these ideas for the first time. Um, but then you're doing it over such a, a pivotal three year span in this country, in which it's about, especially as, as it relates to uh, immigrants and uh, people of color. Um, and and then on top of that, the middle schoolers, I imagine changing so much in that three year period. So uh, I'm interested to hear from the beginning of the project uh, to the outcome in the, the third year, like what were the directions you weren't expecting? The, from the very first moment, I was really uh, struck by how open they were in, with each other in the group. Um, and that they were willing to trust each other uh, or to trust the process. Initially, the, it was never meant to be a, a three-year project. It was originally just a one-year project. And then the elections happened mm -hmm. and um, the kids were really disappointed. And then when we were shooting the, the project, I think none of us thought that the outcome that we had was going to happen yeah um, so it became really and i had stayed in touch with them and so after the elections i reached out to them and i said how is everybody feeling we have an instagram active instagram group that's how we stay in touch and um and they were pretty devastated and uh so then we met and we talked and then i talked to the curator and then we really felt that it was so important to just continue these conversations one way or the other 
they really felt that they had a platform um, and I think they felt really taken seriously. Um, and I could see throughout the years how empowering that for them was, that they really did feel like they, were, they had a sense of agency. You put together some clips from the, the each year that really helped illustrate the progression and the kind of growing complexity of their ideas surrounding the project. Of America and the Republic. So the first uh, clip you are seeing a physical interpretation of what uh, the American dream machine would look like. So we talked a lot about how each one of us is kind of a small part in a whole and what, what can this whole create. Um, so we found an abandoned lot in Milwaukee, uh, close to our project space, um, and where they performed this in a kind of physical choreography, uh, then they make sounds, and this is kind of all together they're producing this imaginary American dream. Uh, in the second year, we kind of reenact a performance from Ligia Pape. <laughs> she is a Brazilian. Uh, artist in the original performance a uh, group of participants is in a one big white sheet walking over the street kind of occupying public space our version of that was that i made this giant um emergency blanket silver uh, emergency blanket and, and cut holes in it and the and the group of participants is wearing that and wandering the streets of milwaukee that way and it creates a very kind of surreal um, image. And then in the last year of the scene, we did kind of a choreography based on protest gestures uh, that they had seen from different protests. So the, the last year, um, the theme was all kind of around thinking around the idea of freedom and based really looking at the civil rights um, movement in Milwaukee too and that history. Um, and we went to a park and they performed this uh, choreography and I think again that was like we could have never done that choreography in the first year you can tell the difference it's much more yeah <laughs> uh, sophisticated so and in that choreography they also took a you know they weren't were much more part of the discussion of what that should look like or where we should perform it. <laughs> So are you, are, have you been able to um, work much lately? And if so, what, like, what have you been working on? Or? I have, well, something that I already kind of started before the pandemic was like the, uh, the broadcast project that I did uh, for the Broke Museum mm -hmm. in Lansing, uh, which to and play with the footage that I already shot uh, during the summer for this particular uh, project. Um, to combine that with this new archival footage um, to to kind of activate that material in a new uh, way. I it started to incorporate um, historical footage about kind of the history of broadcasting, um, but also kind of the political history um, in the United States and the relationships the relationship between presidents and TV or presidents and truth, kind of more as a challenge to myself like how can I bring some of that content in a different way in a different pl platform and what how would I contextualize that or how would I frame that and people can see those um, those one minute pieces on Instagram where would they find you on Instagram? it would be uh, it's called the broadcast and then uh, I think it's Kirsten Lehner's the broadcast I think as makers we always know that when you get in the middle of any project or anything there's often moments where things kind of fall apart or have to be um, taken apart and re-put back together and there's that moment of uncertainty but inevitably when you confront those moments of, of shift and change and rebuilding it's a positive on the other end and I think especially you know since so much of your work is about imagining uh, different futures or positive potential futures I'm curious what you see could be some positives that come out of this really unique moment we're all living in together, you know, across the globe, really. I think my first reaction was like, oh, what am I gonna, I work with people, how can I, mm -hmm. <laughs> how am I gonna continue this work if I can't share the same space with them? Uh, so, um, you know, one of the, pro the projects I was thinking of doing uh, was a, a kind of a, 
portrait series that I in an ideal world would do across the United States and travel and, and meet all these different people. Now I'm going to try out next, yeah, next week, a Zoom version of that, which will be, I think, really interesting because aesthetically yeah. that's not at all what I had imagined it to yeah. be. And uh, I think that was kind of interesting to me to be like, you know, I just have to let go of these of certain kind of aesthetic considerations yeah. that I would make normally because obviously that was not that's not the visual I had in mind. But if this is a way for me to still connect and reach out to people until it still uh, produce content, yeah. that can be actually really exciting because I think one of my obstacles in kind of imagining this project in the ideal version was always like I need to travel and who's going to pay for that and yeah. all the kind of um look like a pretty big project that i was thinking how am i ever going to do that and all of a sudden with zoom or whatever kind of platform that might actually be a much more realistic goal it's like well yeah. i could actually maybe somehow figure out how to reach out to different groups it's okay if a project kind of shifts or becomes really a response to this moment and also be okay with the kind of aesthetics that that creates or um yeah where can people see more of your work i know you mentioned your the instagram but where yeah else? my uh website is uh www.kirstenlanars.com and your work will be on display at the broad in lansing for the next 10 years so exactly so. <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much kirsten thank you bye, bye.